Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a wonderful, beautiful morning here in Arkansas, in the Ozarks. Hallelujah. You know, Satan is really a deceiver, isn't he? He deceives and he makes it look like it's good. The name of this devotional is Satan Promises the Best, but Pays with the Worst. This is by Thomas Brooks. In Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And what is that gift? Gift of salvation. Being cleansed of our sins. Freedom in Christ. And wages there is, is pay. The pay of sin is death. And really, any time There is sin. Any time a person falls to sin, it leads to death in some kind of way, doesn't it? It's not life at all. Sin does not lead to life. It always leads to death of some kind. You know, there is a thing as a seared conscience Bible says so. In other words, when we're reproved over and over for something, a sin, and we continue to harden the neck, continue to turn from that reproof, and continue to go our own way, refusing To see and hear the word of God on the matter. There comes a time that a person's conscience can be seared. In other words, God's not going to deal with them about that anymore. And that's a serious place to be. And you know what? That's where the devil wants to get people. He wants to get them there. He wants, wants them to be deceived. What are we talking about here in the sin? Okay, the wages of sin, the pay of sin is death. Sin. It's talking about every sin. Original sin, actual sin, every kind of sin, lesser or greater. Did you know that sin deserves death. Look at the sacrifice Jesus made. All the sin of the world was placed on him that day. What was the punishment, the corporal punishment for death? For sin. Death. So any time a person sins, I'm going to say this again, it leads to some sort of death in their life. Okay, let's def define what sin is. Transgression of the law of God. Number one. Number two, everything that is not of faith is sin. And number three, if you know the right thing to do and don't do it, it is sin. So see if God is telling you to do something 
and you know the right thing to do in that situation and you don't do it, you're sinning. Plain and simple. If we're not having faith, we're sinning. And if we are transgressing the law of God, we are sinning. In other words, anything that God has said in his word that we are to do and we rebel against it and don't do it, we are sinning. Plain and simple. I mean, I think this is laid out pretty clear for us in the word. Satan promises the best but pays with the worst. He promises honor and pays with disgrace. He promises pleasure and pays with pain. He promises profit and pays with loss. He promises life and pays with death. Let's go back over this. He promises honor and pays with disgrace. What happens if we go out of the way of the Lord and we go the way of the devil in the world and the honor of the world? What, what does it end up with? Life, happiness, maybe happiness momentarily, but what is the end result of it? It's just disgrace. He promises pleasure and pays with pain. What happens? You give in to the devil. You give in to his temptations. You give in and sin to whatever pleasure of this world. To whatever pleasure of yourself. What ends up happening? what you thought was the best thing in the world and wow this is good this is pleasurable this makes me happy and over time what happens it doesn't make you happy you see that you're going away from what the Lord has called you to do and it ends up in pain He promises profit and pays with loss. How many times have people, Christians, got into something? Wow, this is a good thing. I'm going to make a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. And what ends up happening? A lot of times people lose their shirt. A lot of times when they go into these things, they, they go right smack dab in, back into the world the way they were worse than ever before. Backsliding. And what happens? He pays with loss. Satan promises life. And pays with death. Nothing that Satan has to do with is going to bring life. Not one single thing. And if a person is going the way they know, deliberately transgressing, deliberately sinning, if they think it's going to bring them life, they're just deceived. They're just totally deceived. Because even that thought is going against the word of God. The wages of sin is death. Do 
But the Lord says, But God pays as He promises. All His payments are made in pure gold. God does what He says in the Word. What He says He will do, He does. In every kind of way, whether He's talking about uh, judgment, or provision, or protection, whatever the verse is about, you can be assured it is a promise that he keeps and will do. Psalm 1611 Thou wilt show me the path of life. Okay. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Does that say that he's going to show us a path that's contrary to his word? A path that he knows is going to cause pain, unnecessary pain. No, it says he's going to show us the path of life. He's going to lead us into truth and he's going to lead us into life. And anything contrary to that, a person is just deceived. If they think they're walking in the path of life. Because you can't walk in things that are totally contrary to God's word and say it's the path of life. Because it's not. And you're just deceiving yourself if you say it is. And where is their fullness of joy? Right here. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And again, at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Those are the right kind of pleasures, not the wrong kind. Let's keep this in mind today. This is a little short message, but a powerful one, because, hey, it's just so true. Satan promises the best, but pays with the worst. So don't be deceived at what he's dangling over your head. You know, we have a video that's called The Snare. And I posted that a while back, and it's such a excellent word picture of the snare of the enemy. And it portrays a spider on its web. And when the prey falls into that snare, it can't get out of it. And the spider goes over there and starts wrapping it around with the little silk kind of stuff it has. Wrapping its prey around until it's totally wrapped around with the spider's snare. It can't move. It can't do anything. If the spider does not pick up what it's wrapped around and move it, it's not going anywhere. That's what happens when you get caught in the snare. So it's best to pay attention to the Word of God not go against the Word of God. Not go against what God is even prompting you in your heart. And then you'll stay out of the snare that the devil's trying to lay for you. Lord, I pray that you will seal this Word into the hearts of people listening. That you will not let the enemy steal the seed of it 
and you will plant it. Let it grow up and bear fruit, Lord. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I also ask you that people will not forget this message as they go about the day. And if things come across their path or in their path, they'll know, mm, not going there, not going that way. That's the devil's snare. Stay out of the way of the devil's snare. Because he's sneaky, he's smart, and he makes it look so good, just like to Eve in the garden. But just look at the impact that sin made on the whole of creation. And sin does make an impact on people. Even in the body of Christ when people sin, other members of the body of Christ are affected by it, whether a person thinks so or not. They are affected by it. So we need to watch how we walk and into what path we walk. Don't be deceived. In Jesus' name, amen.